Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cricket Podcast as we count down to the 2023 Cricket World Cup. We've got action from the Asia Cup. We've got action from England v New Zealand. And we might even cover Marnus Labuschagne destroying the South African attack in uh, what well, what are basically friendlies before the tournament. I'm Jack Hope and I'm joined by Max Rowe Brown. How are you doing, Max? It's been a while since I've, I've joined you on a pod. Hello. Yeah, very well, thank you. Yeah, it's been a been a little while. Ross and I were flying the flag uh, last week, but uh, good good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I, I I've I've been enjoying some I think well earned time away from cricket yeah uh, over the last couple of weeks i've been on holiday um i played a bit got my first 50 of the year in the last match of the season to extend this is good best Max. time to get it my, my six year streak of hitting 150 per season that's oh, pretty yeah? good isn't it like that's um nice. that's consistency consistency uh right at the end yeah um and now i'm actually starting to look forward to the, the cricket world cup what are we 20 odd days away um some of the the mm. teams before before now they were kind of ethereal you know conceptual ideas of teams and now we're seeing them and we're sort of seeing who's good and who's bad and we've got well nine of them basically to talk about on on this episode so um you know it's a good it's a good preview for the world cup preview mm. which we'll be doing uh, relatively soon and we should actually should we should plug that shouldn't we um so as the as the squads are announced over the next week or so or confirmed i should say over the next week yeah. or so we'll turn our attention towards previewing all 10 teams in the cricket world cup so you'll get uh, a full rundown from max myself and ross although ross has gone to las vegas so yeah maybe maybe not to... ross for some of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. we'll have to see uh, it'll be good though so make sure you, you click subscribe and um, wherever you listen or watch the podcast because there'll be some great content there we haven't decided what decided what our fun fact will be i want animal mascots um mm. but, but we'll see um for, for each of the nations animal mascots it's gonna be good have or should have they should have so a, yeah. a national animal oh yeah you can't just be well pakistan the eagle no it has to be <laughs> some and, um, and it has to yeah. i think something that represents the the team as well now i don't know the the wildlife of Pakistan well enough to come up with something that's um, sadly disappointing promises a lot um, but 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 massively under delivers when it matters yeah um, but An entirely monochromatic peacock yeah yeah something like that I mean I, I, yeah do they I guess they're peacocks probably we'll see you know, we need to do a little bit of research on that but we were doing that we'll be running through all the players uh, the chances how we expect the teams to line up and a, a bunch more fun then obviously we'll go into the tournament. And we'll be doing pretty regular shows. So we'll be doing one show a week for about a month now, month and a half. We'll probably start ramping up. I don't know if it'll be next week, but it'll be pretty soon. Mm. Um, are you excited? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get back to some oh, well, cricket yeah. that actually matters. It's been nice sort of having a little bit of a downtime, I guess, after the Ashes and the 100. It was all yeah. pretty full on, wasn't it? Watching the cricket, going to the cricket, talking about the cricket. It, it was cricket, 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 non-stop. And, you know, luckily we we love cricket, so that's fine. But even so, too much of a good thing does exist. Um, uh, so it was nice to have a bit yeah. of downtime. But I'm sort of, yeah, I'm, I'm lacking something now. And I'm ready. I'm ready to get back into the next I, thing. I agree. Look, you know, we had the, we had the Ashes, which mattered a lot like that and it went out in, in big style and then we had the 100 which is sort of fun i don't know how much it matters but it's fun it's nice to go along to and then you know a five match t20 series which you know on the scale of of matter mattered less than the 100 anti-matter um, which is really which is, yeah, it's really dark matter it's uh <laughs> it's it's really going some to 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 you know Coming under Welsh Fire v Trent Rockets in terms of the the world cricketing register of of matter, but they did it, and um, and and I watched some of it, and I'm glad I didn't have to talk about it too much. Uh, but we're here, we're here now, and I think the games do start to matter. So let's get excited, Max. Uh, we're going to get excited, I think, first with some Asia Cup action, which um, I think this does matter. I think this does matter, Max. I know on mm. the on the, on the last show. You you just left the tournament uh, at the point where well Afghanistan had done 
you know, <laughs> whatever Afghanistan have, have done. So I'm going to run through the the results, and I think there's one big game that we'll probably spend the majority of time talking about. But there's some some interesting stuff that's happened along the way. Uh, last Wednesday, so it is going back a little while. Uh, Bangladesh were rolled by Pakistan, who who picked up a comfortable win. Uh, then Sri Lanka overcame Bangladesh with a score of 257 for nine versus 236 all out. So quite a, a decent match. Um, no real fireworks. Then Sunday slash Monday was was the big one. India v Pakistan. Uh, and India, it's fair to say, absolutely steamrolled Pakistan. Um, 356 runs for two. A couple of centuries for King Legend uh, and Virat. Kohli, and then Pakistan fell in a heap, 128 all out. I'm sure you'll have some opinions on that. Uh, and yesterday, it looked like it looked like Pakistan were going to be sent packing basically pretty early. You know, obviously pending the the final result because Sri Lanka really turned up with the ball against India, um, kept them to 213 runs, but were unable to take advantage of the the good work they did with the ball as they themselves were bowled out for 172. Max, that's the Asia Cup so far. Mm. Um, what, what have you made of it? I mean, like, I, I it's a tournament for me. So I'll preface this. It's a tournament for me that I want to really engage with, but sort of because it is just warm-up matches for the World Cup, I am kind of like, well, none of this matters. Like, I, I need to... and it, it needs to grab me a bit more, and I think the opportunities to grab me well, the, the India-Pakistan games, they're obviously the big ones. Rain off, catastrophic rain off in the first one. And then a, a, a real damp squib of a contest in the other one. And then some, I would say, fairly, fairly middling cricket from the other nations involved. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, uh, I'd say it's bordered on farcical, um, this, mm-hmm. this one. Especially when you consider the run-up, right? About where it was going to be held. There was the whole... Um, India not traveling to Pakistan, Pakistan threatening to pull out if they didn't get to host it. Then Pakistan suggesting India could play at neutral venues. Um, uh, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka being like, no, we don't want that. So, you know, <laughs> eventually they got to the solution where um, the final nine games are in Sri Lanka and then it spent the entire time raining. <laughs> so it's well, just the whole it's a, thing. It's, it's just monsoon been... season. Yeah. Well, like, actually, yeah, I think it's yeah. between them. <laughs> it's like about the only time it isn't monsoon season. But it's just, uh, it's, yeah, it's been slightly calamitous and it does detract from it because you know, it has the potential to be really exciting. Obviously, like you say, like the main attraction of the Asia Cup is that you, you feel like you are guaranteed at least one India Pakistan game, which obviously we, we never get. Um, it, it, well, in bilaterals, obviously, yeah. um, they do their best to try and contrive it in the World Cup. To make sure it happens but you know obviously the asia cup when you've only got uh, a limited number of teams it's very easy to to make sure you get at least one or two of those um spectacles in the bank so um i think nothing nothing has epitomized the fact that that's clearly what this is all about more than the, than um adding in a reserve day for one game and not any of the others apart from the final three days before the start of the game, just because, you know, it looked like it was going to rain. And we can't have two India-Pakistan rain-offs. That's not good for that's not good for the TV revenues, is it? So I think it's a I think it's fitting and somewhat comeuppance that it ended up being a complete damp squib, as you put it. Cause but yeah, it just feels like it feels like it's being it's not just it's doing a disservice to the to the teams and the competition it's just a little bit ridiculous in the way it's been run but I yes guess, uh, I, mean, I would kinda... agree i know i would agree i mean i i think obviously coming commenting from afar here um I, as i said it's not a tournament or on in the, for this iteration which has massively grabbed me i've watched some of the cricket and it's it's been okay and i've kept across the, the results and stuff and so on and i know like if you're an india fan or a pakistan fan or a sri lanka uh, Afghanistan, Bangladesh fan. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that there are narratives and and, and you, like, you want to win. It's a real good chance to get one over on your rivals, if nothing else. Um, but, uh, you know, it's that thing again, isn't there? Like, it, 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 and I think you sort of touching it. Fast is the right word. If you're, if you're running a cricket competition to be a cricket competition, having certain rules for certain teams and not having those rules for other teams does somewhat undermine the 
claim that this is yeah. an elite level co- cricket competition. Oh, it completely undermines the sporting The neutral should be watching. Like yeah. it's it's look, I'm sure it is great fun. Yeah, it, like, like, uh, it's more, yeah, it does. It does do that. I'm sure it's great fun and and it, it, you know what it what it definitely does is it, it creates these India Pakistan games which is sort of the point of it and it makes people a load of money and we all want to see it, India be Pakistan. There's no doubt about that there's a massive TV demand even you know, among neutrals to, to to see India Pakistan and I can see why the they put the reserve day in like it's completely reasonable to be like well this is the game that's that's going to make all the money so let's make sure that we get a hundred overs of it and i was kind of happy i was kind of happy that they they, they got that when it restarted on monday I, you know obviously I was, I was at work but i could follow along with it and i think by the time it ended i was i was done with well actually no pakistan were bowled out by the time it should have ended i was <laughs> when, they, when they ended, you'd had your first coffee of the day <laughs> I, when when they announced when it was start, I was like, "Oh, perfect! You know, if this ends up being a good run chase, then I'll be finishing work and I'll be able to watch like the end of the game and properly follow along with it instead of kind of watching some clips." Uh, it, and it didn't go that way. But you know, to get back to the point I was making, it it does cheapen a lot of the other matches in the competition and the overall you know prize giving anointing of the best team in Asia if you like if you're playing a competition which so obviously is just a ruse to to get India and Pakistan games in in the, in the schedule um I, I guess there's no other way of doing it I like it kind of it gives it gives, it's a nice political loophole I suppose isn't it to be like no this isn't India v Pakistan in the series of bilateral matches this is the Asia Cup when in actual fact, it basically is India v Pakistan in a series <laughs> of bilateral cricket matches. Like there's, yeah. that is the reality of the competition that that we're watching here. And um, yeah, I don't know Asia yeah. Cup. Like that, that, that's my general takeaway. And what, and yeah, talk about any and yeah, teams despite, or games. Well, I was going to say, despite it being yeah. a um, uh, a bilateral series for India and Pakistan, um, as far as I'm aware, India Pakistan final never happened. Well, that no, that is that is correct. Um, which is sort of even more jokes. Like it, it probably, I think, will happen this time. So the the match tomorrow, Pakistan v Sri Lanka, um, you would probably say that Pakistan are the favourites for that. Um, and indeed, I've I've just checked the win predictor in advance, hmm. which says that uh, Pakistan are sixty six to thirty three. That's thirty four. Um, I think they're a better team than, than Sri Lanka. Be with Sri Lanka, you never really know what's going to happen. Yeah. So they are. we might get the India v Pakistan final, and and I look, I obviously be interested in that. That's yeah. going to be really good fun. Um, and I, I might as well say it. Like I hope Sri Lanka lose tomorrow because that's what I want to watch. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> that's right. what the world wants. Yeah. Come on, give it to us. <laughs> Finally, yeah. But, um, so yeah, like more, more, more cricket between India and Pakistan for sure. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to actually talk about any of the games? Because there have been there has been some cricket. I ran through all the scores uh, a moment ago. Um, I've got some thoughts on on the different teams. Maybe we want to talk about the different teams. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, let's 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 do that because obviously it's um, the spectre of this show is uh, it seems to be World Cup warm ups and I assume yeah oh, that's well, all happening that, yeah. under the umbrella of how everyone's looking. So let's, let's sure do that. sure well. Well, the the we can also tie it into how the table stands. If you've not been following along, and you, you probably worked it out when I explained the results, but there's four teams in the Super Four. Bottom and now eliminated are Bangladesh, who have lost both of their matches. Max, um, I've actually been quite disappointed with Bangladesh. I I mm. had them in my early running, kind of after the England series earlier in the year, as um, like in with a really good shout of probably not in the top four teams in the in the world cup race but but in with a very good shout of disrupting that um and i have been quite disappointed i I thought they'd sort of turned a bit of a corner thought their bowling attack was a bit more diverse i thought the general athleticism in the field was up um and i thought that their batting was probably going to be reasonably dependable in asian conditions as it has happened i think they've only won one game in the tournament haven't they they beat bangladesh um, Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Sorry, yeah, but they, yep. they, yeah, Bangladesh have beaten themselves probably as well. <laughs> in, the, in this tournament, um, any thoughts on Bangladesh from this 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 series of matches so far? 
Yeah, I think what's what will be disappointing for them is is how badly they lost the games that they lost. Um, obviously, they made it through to, to the Super Fours, but um, again, just by virtue of um, beating Afghanistan, essentially. But I mean, you look at the the Sri Lanka game in the in the original group. You know, they lost. I like, scored 164, lost by five wickets. They got pounded by Pakistan in the um, the first game of the Super Fours. And uh, you know, yeah, Sri Lanka game was a bit closer, but they've they've not challenged and i think you might expect bangladesh maybe not to you know take down the big boys but at least give them a, a scare they 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 tend to be pretty good at that one you know whether it's with the ball or the bat they have weapons that can damage you and especially in asian conditions they've they've got um they've got promise but it it hasn't turned out that way and i think that is that is a little a little shame going going into the World Cup, but uh, I think I think both them and Afghanistan. I was I was thinking one of them would would throw a cat amongst the pigeons, so to speak. Especially with with Sri Lanka, you know, with the the injuries. I mean, we're jumping about a bit here, but um, like with the, the uh, injuries that Sri Lanka were coming into the tournament with, you know, Hasaranga, um, Kamira, um, to basically their main weapons it was a real opportunity for both of those sides to actually step up and be like you know we can be the we can be number three in um in asia and particularly with you know afghanistan on the batting side i feel like they'd shown a bit of promise because that's that's their weakness isn't it um afghanistan's bowling is is good it is it, it's, it's got pace it's got rashid khan <laughs> it's got majib uh they will they will cause people problems but you never back up to chase down a score and there was that game against Pakistan in the warm ups, wasn't there, where they um, they nearly won it. Uh, the, you know, the hundreds from hundred Gerbaz, um, nine nine wickets down, Pakistan chased it, all sorts of craziness, mancads going on. Uh, crazy game. And that was like you're thinking, maybe they've turned a corner. Maybe Gerbaz really is really good. Maybe Afghanistan have got some batting. And they've come into it and completely flopped as well. So I think between them, both sides are going to be really disappointed with... Um, with their showing and it's um you know i guess it's it's a shame isn't it for for cricket as a whole um in asia that the competitiveness isn't quite there but you know the flip side is sri lanka i guess they're the, they're the positive story in all this yeah i i i think well i don't know yes yes i think sri lanka are the flip side but i would like them to have beaten india yesterday yeah like that's that's i think it's fun being wildly unpredictable <laughs> but like you sometimes got to sort of finish finish the the job finish and became a real yeah. scalp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finish your meal. I think that's a, a good way of putting it. Um, and and I think they kind of had the opportunity to do that yesterday and didn't. Uh, there's definitely a few bright signs for them though. Like they've got, as you said, they've got a couple of injuries. They're not really playing at full strength here. I think the the batting might be bad. But did you see the guy who ran through India? And I, I'm gonna get this name wrong. Dunith Wella Lager. Well, a yeah. lager. Yeah, I got it right. If you had well, to say it, I, I, what I, I, yeah. I'm either either we both got it right or we both got it wrong. Okay, I'm not right, going to yeah, put go my down money together. On either. Um, <laughs> so there's a few things like that that that, that have emerged. And Tikshana's in the mix, isn't he? And then Hasaranga. There's a there's a real fear factor, to, I think, to the Sri Lankan bowling. Um, yeah. oh, based it's on what turning, you've seen, don't want to play. Yeah, don't want to play him. Based on what you've seen in this World Cup, do you do you think in this World Cup in this Asia Cup, do you think the batting can support? Like I actually think that Sri Lanka have got the bowling that people think that Afghanistan have got. I, I yeah. rate Sri Lanka quite significantly above uh, Afghanistan in pretty much all facets of the game, but um, I, I still don't know if their batting's quite good enough. Max, am I am I right? Yes. <laughs> in a word <laughs> uh, um i mean you know the, the india games an example failed to chase down 213 and even that was you know thanks again uh in largely in part to, to well lager who hit a quick 40 odd there i mean they're aside they're like in in limbo aren't they their batting is perfectly good enough to completely dismantle associate nations um and make sure that they're clearly good enough to play in the World Cup. But as soon as they come up against an Australia or a South Africa or an India, they're going to get completely blown away. Um, and I would say the same of Pac uh, against Pakistan as well. But the difference is with the Pakistan that they're going to play 
tomorrow is that they don't have Harris Ralph and they don't have Nassim Shah. So if they can negotiate Shaheen Afridi, then they've got a chance. And that's why I think the 66-33 is probably a little bit too much in Pakistan's favour. I'd be uh, I'd be dialing it back to maybe 60-40 because um, those those injuries for Pakistan, um, you know, they're, they're big. I mean, the that those three paces are are huge. And if, if you lose two of them and you're bringing in um, was this Diwani and uh, Zaman Khan, it's not even close to the same thing. So yeah. they got they got hope, but yeah, batting still still the weakness. You're still waiting for someone to just sort of be the be the glue in that top order, and it's always you know chop and change. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to Pakistan. So basically, so it's a, a winner takes all in terms of playing India in the final match between Sri Lanka. And their questionable batting and Pakistan and um, their questionable injury situation. It sounds like Harris Ralph and Nassim Shah are done for the Asia Cup, which makes a lot of sense, really, um, with the, the World Cup round the corner. I, I don't think we know for sure what the injuries are. Flank is what I've <laughs> yeah, heard. Flank. Ralph, is, I don't, I think that's a, a cut of beef. Um, yeah. So, you know, like, who knows what that, that injury will be. Um, I, I'm not really sure what to make of Pakistan. I think I, I think they're probably not quite as good as I thought they would be in this tournament. I thought playing at home mm. and uh, maybe being a slightly more settled side going into this tournament made them slight favourites, even over India for the Asia Cup. And I, I've been pretty much proved wrong um, on that front. And, and the game they played on Sunday, I mean, that, that's got to be one of the worst India v Pakistan games of all time, right? Hasn't it? it it rained. It was really slow. Um, India batted pretty well, but without doing anything where you were like, wow, this is amazing. It was like, yeah. oh, that's a very... Co- Kohli batted very well, actually. But then King Legend to the other end was like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We've only two wickets down. I'm just going to go and run a ball. Um, and then, you know, then Pakistan... Well, I don't even really know what the plan was with them. It was sort of embarrassing uh, at points, the way they went about that chase. Uh, having said that, look, every team is is able to have a bad day. They destroyed Bangladesh in the other India match earlier in the tournament. They bowled India out and probably were favourites to chase two hundred and sixty. I think so. Um, I don't think it's a it's a it's necessarily that they're they're awful, but I personally was hoping for more. Max, mm. they've let me I, down. I, I'm going to put it down to um, bad day at the office. And okay. if there's if there's a side that is familiar with bad days at the office, then Pakistan <laughs> is is that side. Let's be honest. We know uh, they the the standard deviation for Pakistan as a cricket side it doesn't matter what year you're talking about, what what squad, what side. It's always off the charts. And you know they 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 had a day where it all went um, <laughs> went tits up basically. And I, I think you know with the the guys they've got in there. Particularly, you know, with the ball, um, maybe the batting is, you know, again, um, up for debate. You've got Babarazan there as you know, the guy you're enough. looking to to lead lead through, but you wonder where, you know, where it comes around him and the and the firepower and and that side of it. Um, so I think if you know, if there's one disappointment for me with Pakistan, it's it's probably that. But I mean, their bowling is so fierce when it when they get it right that they can you know they'll have a day where they knock you over for a hundred even if you're one of the best sides in the world uh it just so happened that they didn't take any early wickets against India in this game uh on either day of the uh two-day test match and um yeah I think they probably gave up didn't they <laughs> I felt that they, they did a little bit. Um, it was, I mean, in Pakistan's defense, it was a weird game. I mean, to come mm. back the next day with a sort of fairly set partnership, Harris Ralph knocks off and you lose his overs. Um, yeah. I think it was probably the conditions were a little bit harder for them to battle. I don't think they were going to ever get the runs, but maybe, maybe that was a factor too. Um, so, yeah, let's say bad day at the office. We'll, we'll, we'll watch this space. Um, if they mm. lose to Sri Lanka, then I think there's there's potential that they've just been overestimated. If they win against Sri Lanka, they get a rematch against India, and um, my shout for winner of the Asia Cup is still on, which is the the important the important thing in all of this in all of this talk. Uh, and then we've got India Max, who I've been um, actually mightily impressed by 
Uh, I mm. thought that there was the chance that they would be maybe slightly too conservative with the bat. And I'd still think they're they're on the safer end of the, the, the way they could play, but it, it sort of works. And why it works is because they have wickets coming out of their ears. Um, they've gone with cold deep as I think we probably thought they would, but there were, you know, there's always the chance that they go with, you know, more experience or something like that <laughs> and, and, and make a mistake or lengthen the batting order and go with Akshar. And actually that isn't what they've done. They've, they've played what I think is probably their best team and pretty much all the guys have taken wickets. And I think particularly with the ball in hand, they, they just look a little bit better than everyone else in this tournament. And, and actually um, maybe, maybe edging slightly further ahead than just favorites to definite favorites i don't know if, if that would, would would jive with your for take the, for the world cup for the world cup world cup yeah well for yeah. both tournaments really but um i am still unconvinced on the batting in terms of if it gets to if they get into a situation where they need to chase down 370 plus that's a lot uh, of which, runs it is a lot of runs but it can happen. Um, it's only really two teams, I think, could do that to them. Yeah. No, I, I think that's absolutely fair. I mean, it's like, I'm, I mean, they I'm have not for, to beat one for, of them to win the yeah, World I'm not Cup. For a moment, yeah, I'm not for a moment suggesting that they're uh, not going to make it through to the semi finals because okay. they're going to get um, some of five different teams are going to pile up 370 and they're going to fail chasing it. Um, I mean, in, I, I, in terms of looking at ways in which they won't win the World Cup, right? So mm -hmm. a semi final game, a final game where they come up against. Australia or England and it all falls into place and you know two two of those guys score quick hundreds and and then India you know up uh, up against it do do they have the players that can chase down that well do they have enough of those players you can chase down a, a score like that um that's you know maybe where you'd see a route where they're not you know far away favorites because you can you when you're looking at a side that's comfortably a favourite, you're thinking, who's going to beat these guys? What needs to happen? And you're thinking, you know, there's a very limited number of ways in which which can happen. I, I can see a a reasonable path for being able to sort of play India out of a game of cricket. But I'm not saying it's, you know, not saying it's likely. I'm not saying it's above a 50% chance in any of those games. I'm just sort of thinking, like, I can see it. I can see a, a reasonable... Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think that's A reasonable route, I mean, I'll... but... It, it, scoring 370 against that bowling lineup is a is going to be a task. Exactly. Like Boomer being back is well, is massive. Um, Siraj, you know, when he gets angry, um, he can lose it a bit. But when he gets just the right amount of angry, he's he's fierce. Mohammed Shami, phenomenal with the new ball, and you know they're getting overs out of Hardik Pandya and the the cool deep Yadav redemption arc continues to arc. So yeah. Uh, look, Everything's I, I falling think, into place, pay, maybe at the right time. I think it's really positive for India. I think it's really positive. I, I, I think there are a couple of weaknesses, and I, I think I agree with you. At the moment, they appear to be on the batting side. I, I don't think they're. I think they've probably got the best bowling lineup. I don't think they've got the best batting lineup. But I don't even think they. They might not even be second. Mm. Uh, but they're not miles away, and they're, they're a team with a very high base when it comes to batting. Yeah. Like, That's it. The, yeah, I can't the flip see... side to the batting lineup yeah. is you're not going to beat them if you score 280, probably. Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Like they're they're very 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 capable of of getting that. Um, runs beyond that, I think, could be tough. We'll see though. Yeah. Um, Max, we're going to wrap up part one there, then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about Manscaped, which is what everyone really listens to this show for, <laughs> and then we're going to talk about England v New Zealand and Australia v South Africa. Lovely. <laughs> 